The lionfish problem is uh, one of the biggest problems facing the Cayman Islands. Um, as a tourist destination, our primary product, especially in Little Cayman, is diving. And the lionfish threatens the tourism product for, multi for multiple reasons. It has um, tremendous um, probability to reduce biodiversity and biomass in the marine environment. And this, this is well documented by science. In Little Cayman, we proved that lionfish are generalist predators and they consume over 53 species in Little Cayman. We also proved that they have the ability to reproduce up to 42,000 eggs every 2.42 days. Around 41% of all the lionfish on the reef are spawning today. And that's a pretty scary concept to understand. The biggest problem with the lionfish right now is that um, there's no ownership ta uh, taken by uh, the government. This is, it, it, it's a government problem because it threatens the greatest natural resource that, this, that the Cayman Islands has. Um, the underwater environment is the greatest natural resource. And by, by reducing the biodiversity and the biomass, we are not only threatening the environment, we're threatening the tourism product. So it's important, it's important for us to understand that when you, when you look back in history and you go back to the 60s when the Mosquito Research Unit was formed, it was formed specifically for the purpose of removing pests. And the reason we needed to remove the pests was because of the tourism. Now this, is, this issue is identical in nature. This is a pest control issue. Lionfish is not, the lionfish problem is not ever going to go away. It is always going to threaten the Caribbean. It is always going to threaten the Cayman Islands because countries that surround us like Haiti, Cuba, Jamaica, uh, further up the chain, the Bahamas, they're not dealing with their lionfish uh, problem in a way that's ever going to benefit us. Lionfish uh, release two buoyant egg masses that float on wind and current for 26 days. So we are receiving our lionfish from further upstream. And if these countries that surround us are not dealing with their lionfish problems, we're never going to ever uh, be able to get to a point where we can stop culling lionfish. Management of, of lionfish is possible. This was proved in Little Cayman. It was proved by the Central Caribbean Marine Institute in conjunction with the University of Florida. We proved that um, a dedicated team of individuals can m manage a lionfish population in a localized area. The localized area that we're referring to in Little Cayman happens to be the Bloody Bay Marine Park and the Preston Bay Marine Park, which are the two tourism draw cards for this island. Um, it can be maintained by um, a relatively small team with a relatively small budget by comparison to things like uh, mosquitoes. Um, we have met with the Premier and the Deputy Premier uh, on more than one occasion to discuss lionfish as a, uh, and to discuss uh, issues that surround the lionfish uh, problem. Managing the, li the lionfish problem right now has fallen on the shoulders of the dive operators and the resorts in Little Cayman. Um, this presents problems not only from uh, uh, the point of view of having to provide staffing and boats and uh, equipment to remove the lionfish, but it also pr uh, presents a problem uh, for us um, in the fact that we, we, we have to get our workers, our dive masters out there um, at times over and above their work times where they're not getting paid um, to go and remove these lionfish. Um, if anyone gets injured, it's on their back. No one's paying for the, uh, for the medical uh, fees. Uh, it falls onto the individuals themselves. Um, one of the biggest draw cards to a Little Cayman as opposed to a Grand Cayman is the fact that we have a healthy marine park, and healthy marine parks include large predators like sharks. Um, Little Cayman is a healthy population of sharks, and it's one of the reasons that tourists come to see us. Um, the way this interacts with lionfish is that when you remove lionfish, you are in fact spearing them. Spearing fish underwater does attract predators like sharks. And so for the people that are culling the lionfish, this does actually present uh, some risk. Um, People recognize the risk because, uh, you know, anyone that spearfishes will know that, you know, that you know, there is the possibility of bringing in a predator. But um, is it really uh, up to the individual or the business owner or the work permit holder to take that risk on their shoulders? 
And if something does actually happen, what is the fallout going to be?